favorite friends are gonna draw a ferret. Yeah, we're gonna draw a really cute ferret. We hope you're gonna follow along. You need your drawing supplies. We're using markers, but you can use whatever you have. You also need some paper. Yeah, and something to color with. Yeah, you ready to start? Yeah. <laughs> Let's first start by drawing our ferret's nose. We're gonna draw a little V or a U shape right here. And we're drawing it to the left of our paper so that we have room for the body. And ferrets kind of have long bodies. Yeah. Yeah. Then let's draw the top of the nose. We'll draw a little curve on top. And then we're gonna draw the eyes. Let's draw a circle here and a circle over here that matches. Yeah. Then we can draw a smaller circle in each eye. This makes the eyes look shiny. Yeah. And friendly. <laughs> and then we're going to color in the big circle, but leave that little circle white. That part we sped up. So remember, you can always pause the video for extra time. Now let's draw our ferret's head. We're going to draw a letter U that comes underneath like this and back up. So it's kind of a wide letter U. You could start here on the side of the eye and then come over here. Yeah. And we could also draw the mouth. Let's draw a little line that comes down. And my nose is closer to the bottom of the head, so I'm gonna curve out on each side like this, but you could just curve right to here if you want. Yes, and then the same on the side. And you could curl it up too if you wanna make your ferret look like it's smiling. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. Now let's draw the top of our ferret's head. I'm gonna draw a curve that comes up and back down. So you can start, yeah, there, you did it. Good job. And then we could draw the little ears too. I'm gonna to draw an upside down V on the left and also on the right. <laughs> we could draw another smaller upside down V inside. Okay, now let's draw our ferret's body and they're kind of long, but we're gonna start with the neck and we're gonna draw it coming down. Yes, and then let's draw the feet. We're gonna draw the first foot so we can draw another line that comes down right here. And then let's draw another line right next to it right here. So we've got two lines for the leg. Yes. And then let's connect those together with a small little kind of sideways V shape for the foot. <laughs> and then let's draw the other foot right next to it. We're just draw it right here close to it. This way we just draw part of the foot and it makes it a little easier and it looks 3D. This foot is behind the other one. Yeah. Then we're gonna draw the belly and we're gonna imagine the neck going behind the leg and coming out to the side right here. So we could start here and then we could come out over there. Yes, and then we're gonna draw the back leg and we're gonna draw it right here. And maybe this one's a little bit bigger and bent. So we'll draw a curve. Yes, and then we're gonna draw the foot and we're gonna do the same kind of foot that we had right here. So it comes out sideways. Then let's draw the back. And we're also gonna draw the neck too. So we'll start here and we're gonna kind of draw, we wanna draw it so that it looks like it's kind of a long body. And we're gonna come around like this and then we'll come back. So we're gonna end right here so we can come down. Then we're gonna come up, around, and then connect. Yeah. I love your little ferret, it's super cute. Thank you. Then we're gonna draw the back of the leg. We're gonna come down like this and then we'll connect in. Mm -hmm. Yes, I like how you did that. That's perfect. And then we can draw the other leg behind here, just like we did for the front leg. So we're gonna match the same little curve. Yes. And then we're gonna draw the other foot. <laughs> I like how our little ferret looks like its buns are sticking up. <laughs> <laughs> and then do ferrets have short tails or long tails? Long. Long tails. Let's draw the little tail coming out right here. So I'm gonna draw it coming down like this and we'll have it coming around. So we can start right here and then we'll come around down. I would do it long. Oh, I like how long you drew it. Then we're gonna draw the other part of the tail coming down like this. We're gonna come around and connect in. Yes, we did it. Olivia, we finished drawing our little ferret. It's super cute, except we're not completely done. We still need color. Yes, but we are gonna fast forward. So remember, you can pause the video to match our coloring at the very end. You ready to speed things up? Yeah, yeah. Olivia. 
Olivia, we did it. We finished drawing and coloring our cute ferrets and they turned out perfect. I especially love yours with the little pink cheeks. Thank you, I like yours too. <laughs> Thanks. Now we used our markers to color with, but we also used color pencils on top, especially a brown on the back. Yeah, but you can use whatever you want like crayons. Yeah, you don't have to use the same markers that we used. But if you do have the same Art for Kids Hub marker set, you could use the same colors. We have 26, it's a kind of a light yellow color that we use for the body and the face. Yeah. And then what was the dark color we used for the mask and also the leg? WG7. Yeah. And then we also used a pink color, 89. And I used a light gray for the shadow, CG1. And then for the colored pencils, we used a brown for the back like we mentioned, pink for the cheeks, and blue and white for the eyes. We hope you have fun drawing a ferret. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.